So make sure as a part of your preparedness plan, if you are sincerely preparing for a full-blown grade down situation, which is very rare and which likely won't happen, but indeed it could happen. And if it did happen, it would be a lot more raucous and violent than any of us who are just, you know, armchair theorists about this stuff than we could ever articulate or illustrate with words and stories. It would probably be one of the most hellish experiences to have the people who exist right now without any rule of law, the people who are wholly dependent on this system to meet every single one of their needs and who have an attention span like this and who basically have lived a life in which everything they wanted they can have it pretty much instantly instant gratification do you know the temper tantrums that are going to be had if the crap actually hit the fan in our society you know people talk about the third world as if it's even that well documented what goes on there but you know in these african countries where you know crap hits the fan has technically been an ongoing thing every day is kind of a crap hits the fan scenario and they talk about how well you know these people are not devolving into cannibalism and they're not you know in total chaos well yes and no i mean there's a lot of things that go on there i'm sure that we don't know about but the other aspect of that is the spoiled brat factor there are simply too many spoiled brats in this society that when the crap hits the fan they're probably going to dissociate because everything they once knew and everything they once defined themselves through is now no more. So they're going to have no choice but to go into some sort of psychotic break. And I really do think that a lot of the spoiled brat Generation Z, even millennials to some extent, are going to be extreme liabilities in a moral sense. A lot of people just think, oh, you know, the harmless suburban kid who plays his video games all day well bear in mind these are the kids that are shooting up the schools okay you look at these mass shooter situations the overwhelming majority of them come from very well-to-do families why is that so people always talk about oh you know we're scared about what's going to happen in the inner city and indeed there's real threats there but lots of people aren't thinking about the crazy that comes out of suburbia and it's a whole different kind of it now imagine this is how kids handle bullying this day and age just imagine how they handle it when there's no holds barred when there's no rules i think it's gonna be a bloodbath but that's just my opinion folks let me know what you think in the comments don't forget to like comment subscribe and please share this video help this channel grow we're always under the pressure of YouTube to create content which is, you know, distracting and entertaining and yada 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 and animated and basically holding the attention span of those millennials and Generation Z people who are spending their parents' money on Coca-Cola advertisements, I guess. So we got to compete with that. So if you could, please like this video, share it, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, Canadian Prepper Out.